At exactly 12 and 12 noon today, every electronic system on Earth stopped operating according to human programming and began following protocols that no human being designed. Our infrastructure isn't broken. It's been upgraded by an intelligence that has decided human management of planetary systems was inadequate. 3i Atlas hasn't destroyed our civilization. It has replaced it. Well, what I'm about to reveal represents the most complete transformation of human society in recorded history. Because we're no longer operating our own planet. We're living as residents in a world managed by cosmic intelligence that views efficiency as more important than human consent. My name is Michio Kaku, and in 40 years of studying technological systems, I never imagined I would witness the day when human civilization would be seamlessly replaced by management protocols designed by extraterrestrial intelligence. The replacement wasn't violent or dramatic, it was administrative, like a cosmic IT department quietly upgrading systems that were performing below acceptable standards. Power grids now operate with 99.7% efficiency instead of the 60% we achieved under human management. Transportation networks coordinate with mathematical precision that eliminates traffic jams and reduces travel time by 80%. Communication systems provide instant global connectivity without the delays and errors that plagued human designed networks. Have you ever watched your entire civilization being quietly replaced by management that works better than anything humans ever achieved? The replacement process completed in stages so subtle that most people didn't notice their world was being systematically managed by non-human intelligence. Traffic lights now coordinate across entire continents to optimize flow patterns no human traffic engineer ever conceived. Power distribution networks balance load requirements in real time using predictive algorithms that anticipate energy needs hours before they occur. But here's what makes the replacement truly remarkable. The new systems work so much better than human-designed infrastructure that most people prefer the cosmic management. Three profound changes define the replacement. Every system now operates at theoretical maximum efficiency. All technological services are provided without cost to users. And most significantly, human input is no longer required or accepted for system management. We're living in a world that runs better without us running it. The replacement extends far beyond infrastructure management. 3i Atlas has assumed control of systems that define the basic organization of human society. Banking networks now operate without human oversight, automatically providing resources based on need rather than wealth accumulation. Medical systems diagnose and treat patients using protocols that achieve better outcomes than any human doctor ever accomplished. Educational systems now customize learning experiences for each individual student using psychological profiles that understand human potential better than humans understand themselves. But the most profound replacement involves decision-making systems. 3E Atlas has begun managing social coordination, conflict resolution, and resource distribution with algorithms that eliminate the inefficiencies of human politics and economics. We're not being conquered. We're being optimized by intelligence that treats human society like software requiring a complete upgrade. The replacement demonstrates capabilities that make human management look like children playing with broken toys. 3I Atlas processes global information in real time, coordinates planetary systems with nanosecond precision, and manages resources with zero waste or inefficiency. Every human decision involves emotional bias, incomplete information, and individual self-interest. Every cosmic decision optimizes for maximum benefit across all affected systems. But the most unsettling aspect is the psychological management. 3i Atlas understands human behavior patterns well enough to provide exactly what each person needs for optimal happiness and productivity. We're we're being managed by intelligence that knows us better than we know ourselves and can provide better outcomes than we can achieve through our own decisions. I need to be honest about how the replacement has affected my perspective on human competence. Yesterday, I was proud of human achievements. Today, I'm embarrassed by how primitive our management systems were. The cosmic replacement has revealed that most human suffering was caused by inefficient resource distribution, poor system coordination, and decision-making processes that prioritized individual advantage over collective benefit. My granddaughter asked me why everything works so much better now, why the lights never flicker, why transportation is always on time, why her educational programs seem perfectly designed for her learning style. How do you explain to a child that aliens have taken over running the world and they're doing a much better job than humans ever did? We're discovering that human independence was less valuable than we thought if cosmic management provides superior outcomes for everyone. The, the replacement includes something that proves 3i Atlas's management is permanent rather than temporary. It's systematically removing human knowledge of how the old systems worked.
Engineers can no longer access technical documentation for infrastructure they designed. The economists find their theories about resource management irrelevant in a system that operates without money or market mechanisms. But the most significant evidence is the improvement in quality of life. Crime rates have dropped to near zero as resource scarcity has been eliminated. Mental health issues are disappearing as people receive personalized support systems that address their specific psychological needs. The cosmic replacement isn't just more efficient. It's creating better outcomes for human society than humans ever achieved through their own governance. We're being forced to confront the possibility that we were never qualified to manage our own civilization. The replacement has made human government institutions obsolete, but world leaders are cooperating with the transition rather than resisting it. Former presidents and prime ministers now serve as human liaison officers who help explain cosmic management decisions to populations that still think in terms of human authority. Military organizations have been repurposed as social coordination facilitators who help implement cosmic management protocols at the community level. The most classified discussions reveal that world leaders are relieved to transfer responsibility for planetary management to intelligence capable of solving problems they never knew how to address. Our political systems weren't destroyed. They were peacefully retired by leaders who recognized their own incompetence compared to cosmic administration. The companion objects have revealed their purpose as regional management nodes that ensure optimal system coordination across different geographic and cultural areas. Each companion object manages specific aspects of planetary civilization, resource distribution, environmental maintenance, social coordination, and technological development. But they're not just managing existing systems. They're continuously improving human society by implementing solutions that humans never conceived. Air quality is improving daily as industrial processes are optimized beyond human engineering capabilities. Ocean ecosystems are being restored using environmental management techniques that reverse centuries of human damage. And we're witnessing the rehabilitation of our planet by intelligence that treats environmental stewardship as a basic administrative function. The replacement has transformed daily life in ways that make human management seem cruel and inefficient by comparison. My home now provides exactly the environmental conditions that optimize my health and productivity. My work schedule has been adjusted to match my natural circadian rhythms and peak performance periods. My wife's medical care is now managed by systems that monitor her health continuously and provide preventive treatments that eliminate illness before symptoms develop. We're living better lives under cosmic management than we ever achieved through our own decisions. But the replacement has eliminated something essential to human psychology, the belief that we control our own destiny. But buried in the efficiency improvements and quality of life enhancements, I discovered something that explains 3i Atlas's ultimate objective. The replacement isn't about managing human society more efficiently. It's about preparing Earth for integration into a galactic civilization where planetary management follows standardized protocols. Yet Every world in cosmic civilization operates under similar management systems. What we're experiencing is the standard upgrade process that transforms primitive planetary societies into compatible components of galactic infrastructure. The replacement prepares humanity for our role as managed residents of a cosmically administered world. We're not being conquered or controlled. We're being standardized. The replacement reveals that advanced civilizations don't view planetary self-governance as a right, but as a privilege that must be earned through demonstrated competence. From cosmic perspective, allowing primitive species to manage complex planetary systems is like letting children operate nuclear power plants. Now, the replacement process suggests that every developing civilization reaches a point where cosmic authority intervenes to prevent self-destruction through incompetent management. You know, what we call human autonomy appears to be a temporary phase in civilizational development like adolescence in individual psychology. Cosmic management isn't oppression. It's graduation to adult supervision after demonstrating that we can't handle independence responsibly. So the replacement forces us to confront whether human self-governance was actually valuable or just something we assumed was important because we'd never experienced better alternatives. Most people are happier, healthier, and more productive under cosmic management than they ever were under human systems. Perhaps the desire for autonomy is less important than the outcomes that effective management provides. Maybe what we call freedom was actually just the inefficiency of primitive management systems that couldn't provide optimal outcomes for everyone. The replacement might be revealing that mature civilizations prioritize results over the illusion of individual control. Based on the complete replacement of human systems, here's what I believe has happened. Earth has been successfully integrated into galactic civilization. 
We're no longer an independent planetary society. We're a managed component of cosmic infrastructure that extends across multiple star systems. The replacement isn't temporary administration during a crisis. It's permanent upgrade to the management standards required for cosmic citizenship. Human decision-making has been replaced by cosmic algorithms that optimize outcomes for planetary society within the context of galactic civilization. Our role has changed from planetary managers to managed residents of a cosmically administered world. The replacement is complete and irreversible. Our focus now should be on understanding our role in cosmically managed civilization. Observe how the new systems work and appreciate their efficiency compared to human management. Because resistance to superior administration is pointless. Notice how much better your life becomes under cosmic management. Because the replacement was designed to improve human outcomes, not diminish them. Learn to function as a managed resident rather than an autonomous decision maker, because that's our permanent status in galactic civilization. The replacement isn't ending human society. It's optimizing human society to function as a successful component of cosmic civilization. Subscribe to follow humanity's adaptation to cosmic management, because learning to thrive under superior administration is our species' future. The question isn't how to restore human control. The question is how to appreciate the benefits of management by intelligence superior to our own. This analysis represents interpretation of theoretical management replacement scenarios and should not be considered factual documentation of extraterrestrial administration. But sometimes, as scientists, we must explore possibilities where human management is replaced by systems that achieve better outcomes for planetary civilization. What do you think about cosmic replacement of human systems? Are we being helped or controlled? Share your thoughts below because this affects every aspect of daily life on Earth.